This is a Skyweight Utility Chest Pack from 511. Let's check it out, see what it's gonna hold, and see if it's gonna work with a full pack. 511 makes two different versions of this pouch. This is the utility pouch, but they also do make a survival pouch, and the survival pouch only has the one single CCW pouch. This guy actually has the CCW plus an outer pocket, which has lots of storage. And the reason why I went with this one is when we are out on the trail, we have an overabundance of things that we like to carry. And having it be easily accessible when you have your pack on needs to be priority. These chest packs from 511 are pretty new. Hill People Gear makes a decent chest pack, although it's literally twice the price of this guy here. So that's kind of why we went with this. You can find some cheaper ones on Amazon, although their straps are really thin, the buckles are really small, and they usually don't have a dedicated CCW pouch. This chest pack measures six inches tall, 10 inches wide, and about 2.5 inches deep. And if we stick it on the scale, we are at 15.2 ounces, so just under a pound, which actually is pretty good. Looking at chest packs, I think one of the important features is the size of this harness. And these are inch and a half webbing, which is pretty good. This chunk of material in the back, is it's slightly padded, um, but it's not a complete mesh. I have seen some that actually are completely mesh, so this could be a sweaty spot on your back. The top two buckles are not detachable. And that's pretty important to know. On the side, these buckles do come off and they're actually pretty interesting. They're really kind of narrow. If you squeeze the top, they come off pretty easily. And there's one on each side. But these top ones do not come off. On the back, it's actually padded and it's pretty soft. And there's kind of a webbing material right here. And there's two indentations right here and here. So hopefully when it's sitting on your chest, it'll not be quite as sweaty. Another feature of this pack is it has a pass-through in the back and this whole padding area in the back comes off. And you can hear that, that there's Velcro holding this whole thing on. And this pass-through on both sides is able to basically act as a pack for your belt. So you could be wearing it down here on your belt. Although I would want to get a thicker belt in order for it to hold the weight but that's kind of a cool feature. The only problem with that is these buckles are the only ones that come off easily. Let's go over the other features on this pack. On the front, there is a stretchy pocket. And if we hold it aside, you can actually see how stretchy it is. That's pretty nice. It's big enough to, to put a phone in there. If you put it this way, your phone's gonna stick out. So it's still a pretty good pocket. And right in front of that is the first zippered pocket. And this guy is probably the best place to put a phone. If you put it in like that, zippers right in there. It's easy to get in and out. There are no sub pockets in this guy. On the front here, there are four extra pieces of webbing. There's this one, and there's this one, and there's two more in here. So if you wanted to hang something with a carabiner off of there, you could. We flip it on the bottom, there's four extra webbing. And I've seen people attach away their tourniquet or I've seen also people put bear spray down here. Now let's take a look at this first big pocket. And this big pocket is the main difference between this version and the other version that 511 makes. And this pocket is pretty monstrosity and it's got massive amounts of sub pockets. If we look back here, there's a place to hang your keys, which actually is nice. There's two big pockets here, here, and here. Let's see if we can stick a phone in there. It's just big enough to where a phone's standing tall, it can still zip up. In this middle section, there's extra webbing here and here, but the weird thing is, is these actually open up as well. And on the front side of this pouch, we've got one, two, three more pockets and a whole bunch more stretchy loops on here. Just to give you an idea of what this thing can hold, let's put some of the stuff that I'm gonna probably be carrying. This is an extra battery pack that we're gonna throw in there. Let's go ahead and throw my phone in there. Let's actually not put it in there because it doesn't fit very well. Let's put, this is a 360 cam. Let's stick that in there. It's an extra light. We can stick the GoPro in here. Put that on there. You can see once that's all zipped up that it's actually still about roughly the same size. So it holds a lot of gear pretty easily. 
All the zippers have nice little zipper poles on them and the zippers themselves are nice and smooth. So let's take this stuff out of here and I'll show you the CCW pouch. And on the back here, there is more zippers. And this is your dedicated CCW pouch. One thing to note, it does not default to come with this holster. This actually came from a different system that I had, but I can recommend this. This is a Maxpedition holster. And this entire back area is covered in Velcro, so you can place your, your holster wherever it needs to go. On this other side, there's one, two, three, four, five different loops here that you can put whatever you want in here. And there is also a little loop down here, kind of hard to see, that um, I have seen people put a trigger guard and attach it to that. So when you pull it out, the trigger guard stays in there and comes in there. This comfortably holds a Glock 26 with an extra magazine right here. And that actually fits in there really nicely. I don't know about a full size frame. You'd have to actually do measurements yourself for that. But on here, you can see that there are two quick pull tabs, one on each side, depending on your, if you're right or left-handed. Let me put this on and I'll show you how well these quick pull tabs actually work. I put my G26 and an extra magazine in here so we can see how the weight kind of moves around on me. And to put this on, you just undo the side and then you kind of got to just snake yourself in. As you can see, it's not the easiest thing to get on and off. The only other thing that I've noticed as these straps, there's no stretchiness to these are just straight webbing. And it would be nice if like these bottom straps actually had some webbing that would actually hold it tight, depending on the weight in here. Um, it could move around a little bit on you. To show you how these quick pull tabs go, you can just grab one handed and pull. The only problem I see with this is if you are grabbing, pulling, your arm is right here. And so when you pull out, you just make sure you're not sweeping body parts that should not be swept. Another thing of note is when you pull this open, um, it doesn't create a really huge hole. And in order to get a good grasp, you really kind of got to get your hand in there. And when there's other stuff in this front pouch, um, it's just something to be mindful of. If you're willing to really do this, you need to practice and do it safely. My big thing with this pack is I want to be able to use my big backpack. Mind if you have this backpack on, you are not going to be able to get this chest pack off because the chest pack off has to come over your head because these do not unbuckle. That's kind of a con. You can see that it actually works pretty well. My straps actually don't hit it on either side. And there's plenty of room here. And even my upper chest strap here doesn't get in the way. Originally, I'd said that this would be a good pocket for your phone. When this thing is fully loaded, and you can see it's, it's held up pretty good, it, uh, it's a little harder to get stuff in that front pocket. But this front pouch is still easy, and that holds the phone really nice. So when you're wearing it and this comes out, it actually creates this huge pocket, so you can temporarily put stuff in there. So if you were filming or maybe if you were fishing or doing whatever, you could put stuff in there and it holds quite a bit. <laughs> How stable is this thing going to be? I don't have it super tight. I probably should have a little tighter, but a little jump test. It holds pretty good. It doesn't flop up a lot like that, which I was a little bit worried about. Overall, I think 511 actually made a really good chest pack. It's really good quality. I don't see anything wrong with actually build up the build itself. Um, if you're looking to have a CCW pouch along with carrying some other things that it's easily, easily accessible, I think this is a pretty good option for you. Go watch this video next. You can find us at exploretrekadventure.com and we'll see you next time.